Here we go again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to you guys laughing at me for 20 or so minutes. The Euro 2024 playoffs happened last night, meaning that we now finally have the four groups for the entire tournaments happening in only, I believe it or not, just over two months' time. It's actually terrifyingly close because I I'm mentally not ready for it all over again. Of course, as you can imagine, I, I, I am English, therefore... Um, bias is going to be exceedingly annoying in this video compared to maybe others. I'm ready to be emotionally destroyed again. Comment down below your winner, your runner-up, your biggest flop, and your dark horse. I presume that you know what dark horse means now. Uh, it's definitely turkey. Comment down below what do you think will happen, and also like, let's try to hit 5,000 likes, and also Mozilla Designs. I've just launched all of the playoff final prints from the other night, including Georgia, Ukraine, and Poland, so go and check that out if you're a fan from that nation, or pretty much any other nation or club. I've got that on the site too. Use code EUROS for 15% off all items. By the way, it's my own company. It's all made by myself. It's all me, so I'm not advertising some random company that I don't care about. It's literally, you're supposed to me hence the thousand of prints that's behind me anyway we're back on the telegraph again then boys i think since 2016 this has been a staple of each one of my prediction videos regarding the world cup or the euros and each time i i completely make a fool out of myself if you do want to go do this yourself i'll leave a link to this page down below in the description too okay then so with that said let's begin and here's my predictions which you should completely take seriously as i am a professional journalist please don't get too mad at me it's just a fun video group a germany scotland hungary and switzerland now i could be really funky here and really go off the radar off course you may say and say that germany could be indeed a flop maybe the pressure can get to them they've not been too great in recent tournaments but that would be a bit psychotic. So I'm going to say Germany first place. I know you never would have guessed. Jamal Musiala, I think, is an exceptional talent that if he played for really any other team other than Bayern Munich, I think we, we would get the plaudits that he absolutely does deserve. He is an incredible footballer. And I think this would be his real big tournament that he shows the, the real just incredible player that he is. Now, look, right, I've got a kind of a love-hate relationship with Scotland here because um, I'm English, so that plays a factor, but also, like, because I'm English, I kind of don't care about them that much in terms of, like, I actually kind of want them to do well, which I know that that is absolutely not reciprocated the other way around, and um, they would love for us to, um, you know, uh, to fall apart at every single chance, so. Uh, but I also would love Scotland to do well because I would love to sell some more prints for uh, my company, so I got a financial incentive here. If I got to go with my heart here, I don't know why I really cannot explain it, but I'm going to go away with Hungary. I think they actually are a decent team. I really think they are. And I will put Scotland third and I put Switzerland fourth. Switzerland are just a weird team. I, 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 I kind of... Like, I really shouldn't because no one really pays, like, any attention, really, to Switzerland. However, they always qualify through to almost every single tournament. Scotland have got a really bad record when it comes to friendlies. But when it comes to games that matter, they, they do show up, it seems. Um, not against England, um, but, um, you know, Hungary in recent years have been a very, very solid team. Like, they kind of do go under the radar in terms of how good they are. They, they've not got too many superstars, but as a unit, I believe that they are just much more of a of just a really tough team to play against. So, I put Hungary second. Group B is Spain, Croatia, Italy, and Albania. <sighs> Albania, I feel sorry for you guys, man. I really do. Um, this is a weird one because... I kind of don't know. I feel like Albania can just be third place somehow. And that some team, another team would be fourth. But I don't know who. I just, I just feel like Albania can maybe do something here. Just in one game. Just one freak result. And that's all they need. PRT, Croatia should be probably first. Because they have got the experience. They have got the pedigree behind it. But they're a bit inconsistent now. A lot of their players, their kind of main obvious players, are a bit... They're on the older side now. Um... But I still struggle to kind of put them down. I, I kind of can't. And I think I've learned enough about Croatia in the last, you know, four years um, from personal experience to not disregard them. So I'm putting Croatia first place. Because I think most people still think Croatia eventually will fall apart. And maybe this will be the time that they may have a poor tournament, potentially, because I've now jinxed them. But I've seen enough now from the last four, you know, three tournaments that... You can never put down Croatia. Second, I'm going to go with Spain. I think Rodri is, of course, a massive piece of that. 
they've not got the best teams in recent years. I think they're still relying on. It's, it's a weird group of attackers they've got right now. It's like Ferran Torres, Murata, Gerard Moreno. It's, it's a collection of players that are technically gifted, but I just don't think are, are clinical finishers. But I do think that they've got a very good midfield that would be able to control games and get them over the line in second place. And I'll say, I, I can't put Albania ahead of Italy. I can't. So Italy third, Albania fourth. Italy, I still feel like their team is on the edge. Like, it's again, in comparison to previous years, a, a poor team. Again, sort of similar to Spain like, when it comes to Italy. I just feel like they don't have like a real clinical goal score. Like, like Immobile... I just don't think he does it for Italy, really. And they got Raspadori starting a lot recently. And, you know, I and mean, they got some decent players, of course, like Barella and Chiesa and Jorginho in midfield. But, yeah, I'll say third. I think Spain would be ahead of them. And I, I get it back Croatia because I feel like people always put them down because they think eventually that, oh, they can't be that good, but they are. So, Group C, the fun one. Looking back on it, you know, England have been very fortunate here to have the group that they have, but by no means is it going to be an easy group because England, best believe, will make this seem incredibly difficult because that's what we do. Group C, um, Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, and of course, England. Now, England should be top, really. We should be top. Denmark, as of recent times, are not the same Denmark that they were. They had a really poor World Cup, and you know they almost lost to likes of San Marino recently. I think they only beat them 2-1 away from home. Slovenia, again, is just one of those nations that you just don't pay too much attention to, but they always do semi-decent at these tournaments. And Serbia, they've kind of become a sort of turkey in terms of a dark horse that kind of is never achieving the kind of expectations that you want them to do like Mitrovic and Vlahovic and a lot of great midfielders alike so Milinkovic, Savic and I mean you just think eventually it will all come together and will this be the tournament that it actually may do so and I would like to think yes I don't think I'm being biased by saying I think England should be top in the group but maybe that's me being stupid but okay I would say Serbia second, Denmark third, and Slovenia fourth. Even after I say that we're going to draw to Slovenia. Denmark, I just don't think they're the same Denmark of what it used to be. And I think Serbia eventually will have to claim that kind of dark horse, you know, talent. The expected golden generation that they are meant to actually achieve. And I think that they actually may have a, a semi-decent tournament this time round. Group D, Netherlands, Austria, France and Poland. Um, of course, as I live in Poland, I was watching the game last night in the pub. And um, between Wales and Poland, it was kind of a weird feeling because, well, whoever kind of wins, did he really win? Like, yes, you, you go and you, 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 you got a summer to look forward to, kind of. But... You know, you've still got Netherlands and France. But this is where I'm going to shock you here. France will top the group. No qualms about that. No one could deny that France, they'll probably top the group, right? I'm going to go Austria second. And I would put Netherlands third and Poland bottom. I'm sorry to my fellow Polish. But I guess the real question is about Netherlands. I don't... I, I can't have much trust in Netherlands. Now, I still think they'll qualify through. I still think they probably will beat Poland. But I just feel like Netherlands, they've got many pieces of their team missing for me. I'm sorry, I can't trust you guys. And Austria are kind of in the same camp of like a, a Switzerland, where you kind of just don't pay too much attention to them. But they always do semi-decent. They always end up through to the next round. They're coming into the tournament with good form, beating Germany recently and only just narrowly losing to Belgium, but having very good form in terms of winning a lot of their general games in Nations League, etc. And I think Austria, second place. I mean, I, I can see that happening. Again, not every Euros is as predictable as you can think. I, I can see a world where Netherlands are third. I just think that their team right now is, you know, even though likes of Virgil van Dijk, the midfield isn't that great. Attacking-wise, I think they're relying on Marlon, Memphis Depay, and, and Val Vegost, and yeah, I, I'll say, I, I will not be surprised, it's like my kind of like big, kind of like biggest flop, I think could be Netherlands, I, I will not be surprised if they're bottom of the group, and maybe this is going to be me being clipped up and jinxed in a couple of months time, but that's just kind of where I'm at right now. So, Group E, Belgium, Slovakia, Romania, and Ukraine, I really like this group. 
I do really like because I, I feel like it can really go either way. Belgium coming off the back of a really poor World Cup. Um, their squad is still trying to kind of garner some sort of consistency. Slovakia, again, are just a really just tough team to play against. Like, they're kind of similar to maybe like a bit like a Czech Republic where they're just tough to play against, but and they'll always get a result here and there. Romania too, there's, they, there's a exciting feeling to Romania right now that I feel like you also can't just disregard them. And then there's Ukraine, which, I mean, we, we all know the, the elephant in the room there, but they've got some great talent. Dom, D D Dovbeek is a fantastic striker, number nine. Mudrig, electric, I'm putting Ukraine top. I'm gonna put Ukraine top. I feel like they've got the momentum. They've got a proper number nine, a very solid midfield. I'm going to butcher their names, but Tiskanov, um, Yaromshuk as well, the number nine. I just think they've got some good plays. They're selling midfield as well. That was played for Atalanta. I just think Ukraine should top the group. And then I'll put Belgium second. And I'm put Romania third. I'll put Romania third and Slovakia. This is a little bit against the grain, but that's kind of how I feel about it. Then group F is Turkey. Georgia, Portugal, and the Czech Republic. And I'm not going to waste time here much shit. I'll put Portugal first. I can't see a world where they're not, they're not top of the group. I don't think the other three nations have got enough to really try to be top of the group. I think Portugal will get there in the end. No matter how they get it, they'll be top of the group. I, I, I don't think they'll walk it, but I think they'll just be top either way. And then it really is a fight for any of the others too. And Czech Republic, they, they're just quiet, but they always just kind of get over the line. They always just get there. They always just kind of sneak their way in. For Georgia, they've got the, the, the first tournament excitement. They've got that buzz. And they've got some decent players too that can make a difference as well. So that kind of first tournament buzz, will that play a factor? I think it will. And with Turkey, the dark horses of a couple of years back, I think people will be avoiding them. And maybe this is the time that they actually will be a dark horse and actually do something good. Because they're a weird country to predict. They really are. They really are a weird country to predict. And that's why I kind of felt I want to go for Turkey here. Just because now that everyone thinks Turkey would, know, would now be really bad, they're now going to do something good. <laughs> Reverse psychology. So I'm going to go for Turkey. I, I, I'm going to go for it again, boys. And then Georgia third and then the Czech Republic fourth. That's what I'm going for. And will Georgia being third be enough for them to get over the line into the third place rankings? Because only four can be through. We've got Scotland, Italy, Denmark, Netherlands, Romania, and Georgia. I think Netherlands will beat Poland, so I think Netherlands will be going through. I think out of Group E, I think Romania will be out. So then I think um, Scotland, I think they get a, a result or two there as well. A draw, a win, I think they can. Scotland, I think, would be through. And then Italy, I think it'll be Albania, so I'll go for Italy. And then we've only got one more left, I think, that can make it through between Denmark and Georgia. Look at groups of Georgia. Can he beat Czech Republic? Or can Denmark get a result? And I think they will. I think it'll be Georgia out, unfortunately. Then it'll be Georgia and Romania to sadly go out of the competition. That's what I'm going to go for. And he'd be going to the round of 16, just like that. Oh, God. Okay, Germany beat Serbia. Um, why can I see something crazy happening here? Surely not. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'll go Germany. I can see a world where Serbia does something crazy. Hungary beat Spain. I don't know why I really like Hungary. I really, really like Hungary. I just really do. And I think they could do something against Spain, you know. There's always those games in the knockouts where an upset happens. And I think this will be it. I'll go hungry. I, I, I just I just think Spain, I think that when it comes to their actual clinical edge, I just don't think they have a finisher right now. And I think Hungary will make it really tough for them. Croatia beat Netherlands. I think my opinion on the Netherlands has been already given across here quite well. And that'd be a really good game. I really think that'd be a really tough game to decide who would go through. And you just cannot go against the Croatians. You can't. I, I, I can't. I've, I've gone through it enough times now just to just not take it anymore. So I'm going to go for Croatia. England beat Denmark. The Euro semi-final comes over again. Again, it will not be an easy game. Do not get it twisted. It will be not an easy game. I, I, I like to think England can get over the line on that one. I, I like to think so. 
maybe I'm biased, but I, I like to think we can get over the line in that game. Portugal v Italy, very good game. Really like that game. And I think it'd be one of them where I, I, I think every single, everyone will want it to be Portugal. Everyone will want it to be Ronaldo. But the Italians are really annoying. We've, the Italians are really annoying. I can see Italy beating Portugal. I think that could be a game that can, go, that can go to penalties. I think that could be that type of game. Austria v Belgium. That's a good one. That is a good one. And I think, despite my appreciation of Austria, I think Belgium will have enough to get through that game. I think they'll have enough. Especially that like KDB is available, which he should be by then. Ukraine v Scotland. I mean, the Scots would be really happy with that draw. They'd be really, really happy that draw, but I'm going to go for Ukraine in that one. Apologies. I'm going to go for Ukraine for that game. And then France v Turkey. I mean, Turkey, they have got a weird history against France, you know. I'm pretty sure it was before the last Euros. I think they beat France both times in the in the qualifiers or Nations League, um, which everyone it was. So that's why, that's why everyone was really hyped up. And they've got history against France, I'm pretty sure. But surely not. Surely not, France. Okay, maybe... Was, was that really boring? I don't know. That's just kind of how I'm going. Okay. Germany v Croatia. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I don't like that. I don't I don't like to predict this game. Wait, right, who's England? Oh, my God. England has hungry. I did not do that on purpose. I did not even... I did not know that was a possibility, okay? I thought we were going to have Croatia next. So... I did not plan for this to happen, that we get hungry in quarters, just to be aware of that. So, apologies. Okay, Germany for Croatia. I really like Croatia, but I think Germany will, will go through in that one. I think they will. I think, I think they'll home advantage everything. Italy beat Belgium. I think it'd be Belgium. I think Belgium. I'm going to go for Belgium for this one. But it can so easily be Italy. Like, it can so easily be Italy. Like, who, who did I say they go through? Yeah, Portugal. I can really see it be Italy as well. It's so tough. I'm just going with my heart here. I'm going to say Belgium. If KDB is available, he could be very much the difference maker. You crave it, France. I go for France. Sorry. It's as simple as that, really. England v Hungary. I've got to go for England for this one here. I think Hungary, again, they really can because they have beat... The, it can so easily be hungry because there's no reason to say if they can go on and beat the likes of who did I say they'll, go, they'll knock out Spain? They can so easily knock out England. I mean, they, they they literally did that not long ago. They beat us in the Nations League. Was it like four 0 or something? Four one. So this is complete bias here. I'm going England. I'm sorry. Okay, Germany beat Belgium. France beat England. And I think it'd be a Germany. I can't, I can't, I can't do it to myself again. I'm, I'm saying Germany beat France final. The horse nation versus the, the favorites to win the entire thing. This seems really boring. I'm sure it does come across really boring. I can't say England will go, will go and win the entire thing because I think the only team that I can say that we probably won't beat is France. So if we come up against France, I can't say that we'll knock them out and not look stupid. I just can't do that really. Um, so I, I, I would say it's a Germany beat France final. And then for the final. <sighs> yeah, I'm going Mbappe. I'm going Mbappe. I'm going for France. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's really boring. It's really, really boring. Can I go with a France winner? Ah, I can't. I, I feel so dirty saying that. When it comes to the most predicted winners is England obviously it's an English site France and then Portugal I mean Germany they've been in really poor form so the idea of me putting them into the final is a bit odd but they have just won the last two games but prior to that were really 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 poor but hey that's just how it's gone I've not put too much thought into this as you can imagine so don't kill me but that's my predictions for the Euros I'm not a professional don't kill me tell me your thoughts down below for the winners runners up the biggest flop and the dark horse down below. I guess in this case, my dark horse was, I would say, Hungary, potentially, or Ukraine, 
maybe Belgium, you may say Belgium, but that's my predictions. The biggest flop would be potentially the Netherlands. So comment down below. I'll see you next time. See ya.